Hello everyone, today I'm going to be tying a hawthorn fly, so I'll show you. I've already done that in my previous video to how to make a body, but I'll do it again. So all you need a black thread, needle, and just start. And just open wraps and come back towards the point. And if you can cut this thick and thin, take this end and thin it. So just if you can catch this few turn and then once underneath keep going just like that. And I'm just going to get the lighter and then give them a little heat so that way they will stay in this position and give them just leave them for five minutes, okay? And then unravel everything. Okay, um, that's it. The body is done now, so as you can see, now the last segment is too large, so I'm gonna cut this cut this off because, like I showed you in my previous video, you can alter this size. So thread again, block the hook. I'm using size 14 straight chunk, and just around the bend and come back and uh, catch this in the middle of the hook just take your time again just to see if the right size is if it's not then no problem you can catch it a little bit further so add extra segment but like I said if it's too long then you can cut it off no problem now this should be all right okay Now, for the wings, I'm going to be using, this is a floating yarn, you can use um, just for the wings, so I'm going to cut this off. Let's catch it in the same place, a couple of turns. And make sure you secure them. Like I said, take your time again. Fold it and make sure they're completely secure. Okay, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter, then I'll alter it after. Just keep bringing this form for forward just a little bit and then fold all this back take your time again 
just kind of work with this surface so okay uh, legs these are silicone legs uh, orange color barred with a block bar on them two on either side so just take your time with these Just make sure they're just a little bit downward so once they're secure just fold them forward and we need them in the front as well so make sure you take your time with this and just start tilting more by so I can get them Check if they are sitting all right. All right, take your time again. Like I said, you know, these legs are a bit tricky, but I've been fishing with this fly to be honest with you, it works really well this time of year. As the hawthorns are about and just trying to level this and I'm gonna add a little feather this uh, peacock hull just to give it kind of a little bit natural head now leg it I think you find the legs are in the middle. Just take your time with these flies, you know. Like I said, you know, sometimes you don't tie the fly for a long time and then you kind of need a little practice. So wrap this around again a few times. Hold this back. And then just get a few wrap on the head. It doesn't have to be a perfect to just and then catch it secure this take this off and then secure this properly and then bring your head now And final bit is a varnish. Okay, one, two, and then in the front. And whip finish. cut it and leave some on the front it's a little bit tricky but like I said you know just take your time have some patience practice and then you will be all right now cut these wings to the body length And 
just going to cut some of these a little smaller. And I already cut the bark one, so so this is how it sits in the water. And very effective. I've been catching a lot of fish with this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.